ho, ho, people. All right. So as you can clearly see by the title, uh, this is a live video, but I'm running out of live videos to do, and uh, just in general, I'm just not really keeping up with Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life. So I uh, just decided to go ahead and do a deck profile of my incomplete Evel deck. Yes, it's incomplete because I, um, I, I've been working on it, of course, on Vitamin and Lion stuff, because, you know, this is Supervised, so of course I've been working on it, but when it comes to, like, you know, getting the cards and putting the deck together, not really. So, I'm uh, just going to go do a quick little deck profile of the Yubel deck, incomplete though. And uh, hopefully I will be able to put it together, finish it, and then I'll have, you know, my real life Yubel deck back. And we can uh, go ahead and some, have some live duels and stuff. But, you know, I really don't even have a deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now because I haven't been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life. I took apart Evil Swarms, I took apart Constellars. I'd never put together Teller Knight. So, pretty much, I'm just not playing at all. So I was like, oh, well, I'm out of vi live videos, alright, what should I do? And I was like, you know what, let me just do a quick little deck profile supervise. So I collected all the cards that I can for the deck, and I, you know, I will be explaining my choices right now. So, you know, it's like a little sneak peek of what, you know, what I've been working on with Supervice on uh, Vibe and Y Forever. So, uh, yeah, and also I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about what I'm planning on doing for maybe a little substitute for the live videos. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, of course, run one you bell. This is the first edition super rare from the original pack. All my Yubels are, uh, you know, first edition. I lost, whoa, I lost one of my Yubels. All right, that's probably my other Terra. Here's Terra. Uh, this isn't the first edition one. Oh, yes, it is, yes, it is, yes, it is. This is the first edition one. It's only ultra rare because I hate ultimate rares a lot. So, there you go, Terra. One of each, one of each, so. The original Secret Rare, oh my god, that's so shiny. Original First Edition, Secret Rare, Ultimate Nightmare. Only one, I don't draw these as much in real life as I do uh, for freaking Lamb and Y Forever, I swear. But yeah, we run the one Tinker. There you go. Whoa, focus, focus, focus. There it is. One Tinker. Alright. Run two Summoner Monk. It's only, these are only common. I let my friend use my uh, ultra rare ones for his harpy ladies, so he has my ultra rare ones, so. Yeah, I'll probably be getting those back, because I would like to, you know, have these hollow. So, there you go. So, our monk, lots of spells, pitch, summon, so, really nice. We run three Dark Graffer, because sending is important. Uh, these aren't the super rares, they're only super rares, but it's cool. Uh, I like the idea of having my, uh, my Armageddon Knights be the same rarity as my Dark Griffer, so they weigh the same. So instead of getting the super rare ones, I decided to go ahead and get the super rare ones. So there you go. Dark Griffers. And of course, I have three Armageddon Knights. Very important. Same rarity, super rare. So make sure everybody gets nice and sent to the graveyard. Get everybody to the graveyard, then we can go ahead and get set up. Alright, so let me talk about the monsters I don't have. Uh, I do not have a uh, blue wing butter spy. Um, I'm still testing that card out on Vibe and Life Forever if it's Super Vice. Uh, the idea of it is to go ahead and uh, use it as it's kind of like a Kage to Kage. You know? So, you know, go like summon Armageddon and I, you know, chain butter spy. This is when you summon a warrior, you can summon it. It's just like Kage to Kage except for a warrior. So if you summon a warrior, you can drop it. And it's a warrior itself. So, uh, you know, I can just go, you know, summon Armageddon and I chain. Uh, Butter Spy, Spellman Butter Spy, send something, make a Laval with Chain, send something else. So, you know, that's two cards already. So, uh, I was thinking about that. I'm thinking about running maybe like two or three, but right now I don't have it. It's a common, so, you know, that would be easy to get my hands on. So, um, what do you, you know, in the comments, if you guys want to go ahead and help me with this deck, be sure to. So, in the comment section below, go ahead and tell me what you guys think about running a Butter Spy or do you have any other suggestions. Uh, there is no background in this deck, so if you're expecting some background, there isn't. So, um, you know, it's just a fun deck. Just have fun with you, Bell. So, yeah. Uh, so there you go. Those are almost all the monsters. I have one special monster to show you at the end. So we'll go ahead and go right into the spells. So, of course, you're running triple Rota. These are the ultra ones. 
uh, you know, uh, like I said, there's Armageddon Knight, there's Dark Rifle, and if we decide to go ahead and run Butter Spy, there's Butter Spy as well. So that's the reason why I'm running uh, Butter Spy over uh, Kage Takagi, because they pretty much do the same thing, except it's only when there's so many warrior, but it is a warrior itself, so I can go, you know, oh, uh, I opened up with Armageddon Knight and Rota. Well, what's the point of going Armageddon Knight, search, you know, use a Rota and search for another Armageddon Knight? Then I have to go, oh, summon Armageddon Knight, send something, wait a turn, summon Armageddon Knight, send something else. You know, instead I could just get, you know, Kage and I could just go, I'm gonna get, I mean, I can get Butter Spy and I could just go, I'm gonna get a knight, Butter Spy, send, make a little chain detach, send, so, you know, I get to send at double speed, so that's why I was going with Butter Spy over, um, over Kage, is because it's searchable through Rota, so, and we throw it at three, I mean, come on. Alright. One foolish, secret rare. Let's go ahead and just send, without even having a normal summon, you're gonna get a knight, foolish, very powerful. Uh, I only have one Dark Hole, uh, Secret Rare, uh, I'm definitely planning on running the second Dark Hole, and I need to give me a Regeki, because these mass field wipers are really good, you know, uh, you know, sometimes I get a shitty hand, so it's nice to go ahead and just wipe the field, you know, I don't care, I don't care if in the meta, Destruction isn't good, you know, when playing for fun, Destruction is beautiful, because, you we're, know, we're not playing the meta, so not everything floats, so if I can go ahead and just, you know, toss a Dark Hole or toss the Regeki at you, then... You know, that's nice. So, uh, you know, also, you know, I can go ahead and go, like, all right, call the Haunted U-Bell Dark Hole, you know, and, uh, you know, it's Super Vice U-Bell, so you know this deck can OTK if I open up well enough. So, there you go. So, I'm planning on getting another Dark Hole for, you know, the January 2015 ban list and then another deck. I'm not going to play Snatch Deal because it's dirty. You know? I'm trying to have fun with this deck. That's just mean. All right. Of course, we are running Triple Silent Doom. So you guys already know the combos if you know Super Vice Bell, so, you know, this is a one-card synchro with Doom Shaman. So you just go Silent Doom, Doom Shaman, Doom Shaman, Summon Tinker, Sync, or you can go Silent Doom, Doom Shaman, Doom Shaman, Summon Yubel. During the end phase, Yubel has to, of course, uh, you know, send a monster to a graveyard, destroy it. So you send Doom Shaman. Doom Shaman's second effect will go off that any monster that's summoned by Doom Shaman is destroyed, so Yubel will be destroyed, and then you summon Terror. So it's as simple as that. So it's either a one-card uh, Terror Incarnate, or it's a one-card um, uh, Sync 8. So there you go. But we're not done with the Revival, because you guys know how much I love Revival. So, of course, we got Triple Swing of Memories. This is just like Silent Doom. Silent Doom summons in defense mode, and it's not destroyed. Uh, at the end phase, Swing of Memories, you can summon attack or defense mode, but it is destroyed during the end phase. So, same, pretty much the same play. Uh, one card Synchro, or, uh, you know, one card Terror. So, lots of uh, Ebel Revival, if I want to. And, of course, wouldn't be uh, Super Vice deck without, of course... Triple Super Vice, so Super Vice is probably one of the dumbest cards in this deck, so you pretty much go like Silent Doom or Swing of Memories, Summon Doom Shaman, instead of using your normal summon for your effect, you equip Super Vice, you gain your effect off of Super Vice, and uh, when the equip monster is sent to Graveyard, you can target a normal monster Graveyard and summon it, so you go Summon Doom Shaman uh, with Swing of Memories, activate Super Vice, equip it to Doom Shaman, activate Doom Shaman effect, Summon Tinker, Sync 8, um, it'd go... Supervise chain Tinker, so Tinker's mandatory, so Tinker, you go ahead and see the top deck, card of your deck, Supervise will go up, summon Doom Shaman, because that's a normal monster in your graveyard, right? Then you use your normal summon for effect, or equip another Supervise, summon Tinker again, and get another Sync, so this is one card you can get an additional Sync, so uh, there you go, so Supervise, very powerful, wouldn't be a Supervise you battle deck without it, of course, and that's uh, pretty much all the spells, so lots of spells, I said uh, I need to get my hands on another Dark Hole and a Regeki, and that'll be cool. Alright, so for the traps, triple call of the haunted. Call of the haunted is so good. You know, just be able to call the haunted back Doom Shaman as another one card sync, or call the haunted Armageddon Knight for another send or whatever. Call the haunted is very useful. And then of course the best trap card in the deck, triple limit reverse, because limit reverse summons terror. It's a one card terror, so you know I love limit reverse. Uh, I do not have any wastes up time, but it's a rare. I just never got my hands on any of the wastes. So I need to go and head and get me some of those. So there you go. That would be uh, all the trap cards right there. So right now it's like I think it's a 32 card deck. So like I said, with those cards that I'm missing, I can easily make it 40 cards. So, you know, what I'm missing a lot is the cards in the extra deck. So uh, right now all I have is a one Void Ogre. I know I only run one, but you know that's all I have right now. Uh, 
my one crimson blader. I only have, I only run one. I want to get the uh, super rare one or the super rare one, so I want a rarity up on that definitely. Uh, my one scrap dragon. I'm planning on running two. I'm still debating on that. You now, because if you can summon one Beals and then two scrap dragon, then they could just pretty much just gang bang on top of Beals and just pop two free cards for free. You now, and then I don't like when you know I only run one and then they kill my one scrap dragon. If I don't have like Call of Hunted or something, I can't even get it back. So that's why I'm planning on running two. And um, uh, one Dark End. Yeah, Dark End is pretty good. I love him sending because, you know, I hate dueling against, you know, like, uh, you know, dowling boxers having to deal with Lady Up. Just send it. Go away. Uh, so, I do not have a Beals right now. Uh, Beals is. Uh, I never picked them up because, you know, they were expensive at the time and it was just for, you know, this deck. So, you know, I've just been waiting. Of course, you know, as the longer that Beals goes unplayed because, you know, it's not even relevant. You know, the cheaper that's going to be to be and easier to get. So, I could probably pick them up for fairly cheap right now. So, I might go ahead and do that. Get me some Beals's. So, uh, you know, those are the Synchro Monsters. Xe monsters, of course, have one 101 ultra rare. I do not. Uh, this is actually the first edition from the original, uh, but uh, I do not like um, ultra rare. So, ultra rare, 101. And we, of course, got one Castell. Uh, I actually like one. My combination I like is one 101 and one Castell, because there are situations where I want 101 to handle it, and there are situations where I want Castell to handle it. So, I decided to go ahead and go one of each. Of course, got. One Exton first edition Secret Rare from the original. I know, I know, I got ripped off with that reprint, but there you go. Exton and uh, Bang Bang Skeet Skeet GG Cowboy. Love Cowboy. He wins games. You should run him. Uh, Alright, so I you know you guys clearly see I do not have my Lovable Chain and my Doug Goose I do have them. Uh, I just don't know where they're at. They're, they're either with my friends or with Team Ninja. Like I said, I pretty much loan out those two constantly because I am not really using them in my Ubel deck, and people, you know, need them for tournaments and stuff. So, you know, all I need to do is just give them contact. Be like, hey, I need more cards in the book. All right, here, here you go. So, uh, yeah. So I don't have them right now at this moment that I'm doing this video, but I do have a Lavalo Chain and a Emerald. Lavalo Chain is DT and the Emerald Secret. So, uh, there you go. So, uh, of course, there's not going to be any side deck, because I'm not planning on siding. It's just for fun. But, uh, of course, you know, this is Super Vicey Bell. You're probably wondering, like, all right, Dan, you went over every card in Super Vicey Bell, except for, like, the key card. And, of course, you guys know that the card I didn't show is Doom Shaman, right? So, this is, I think, this is the perfect time to actually show you guys my, uh, my miscut Doom Shaman. So, you guys ready? You guys ready? dun 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 this is my miscut Doom Shaman. So you can clearly see that's fucked up. If you guys want to compare, I only run one Doom Shaman, but if you guys want to go ahead and compare, um, this this is a regular Doom Shaman. It's also awesome rare. I don't like it. I, I mean, like look at it. Like look 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 how curved that is. Like I hate this card. It's so damn flabby. Like ah, blah, blah, blah. I hate ultimate rares. But uh, yeah. So this is a regular one. Look at look at look 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 look. You see see look, see. I look. See, look at that cut. I cut it hella wrong. All right, look, 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 look. I'll, I'll, I'm even willing to take it out of the sleeve. I'll take it out of the sleeve, and you guys will see. Even the back of it's fucked up. Like, look at that. Look at that. Konami, you fucked this card up. You even cut off part of your own damn logo. Like, damn. But I love this card. This is like my pride and joy of this deck. I love this Doom Shaman. And it's super rare, too. But, God, they, I love how they just cut it off. Like, sh like. Damn, you barely kept on the freaking level there, you know? So, there you go. There is my miscut Doom Shaman that I'm so proud of. And, you know, why I definitely want to run this deck over Zombie Vice in real life. Because I love this Doom Shaman. It's just so awesome. You know, so, this Doom Shaman, no. This Doom Shaman. Yay, I like this Doom Shaman. I can't even get my thumbs up in the picture. There you go. Yay, this Doom Shaman's awesome. Alright, so there you go. There's a... Nice little deck profile real quick of uh, my incomplete Super Feisty Bell deck. As I said, I'm going to be getting, getting the cards. Still working on it. Of course, I'm going to watch forever on uh, Fridays, but you know, I'm still going to be working on it. So, uh, this is mostly supposed to be a quick little live video, but also an update video. So, what I wanted to go ahead and talk about is uh, the fact that uh, me and my friends have just not been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life lately. You know, as I said, I took apart all my decks, so I literally have no deck. 
at all. So, you know, if someone comes up to me on the street and, you know, challenges me to a duel and whips out the duel decks, man, I can't even duel because I don't even have a deck. Like, none of my decks are complete. Constellars are torn apart. Uh, Toe Knights have never been finished. So, I'm still working on that. I'll eventually finish that deck. I got all the expensive cards, though. So, you know, I just need to, you know, pick up the little cards and just slot that deck together and then I'll have that. That'll probably be my other fun deck besides Ebel. So, you, you might be seeing live videos of that in the future, but not in the near future. Um... Um, Evil Storm is taken apart, Castell is taken apart, so, you know, I, and this deck is clearly not finished, so, uh, you know, I just don't, I've been playing in real life, like, me and my friends have just not been playing, uh, you know, not going to any tournaments or something, definitely not entering any tournaments, uh, I'm, I'm done, I'm done with competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, even, even locals I'm done, because, you know, the, the game, the game is too strong, you know, like, if I go down to the locals, all I need is one person to play like, you know, you know, fucking schnolls or fucking um or fucking burning abyss or something and i'm done because they would out resource me you know you know they float i don't so you know that's 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 just the the sad truth of Yu-Gi-Oh. you know so you know they're just trying to pump up the meta and weed out the rogue and you know if you want to top you got to play the meta you got to play the best you know because you, you know it'd be different you know if they if they wanted if they wanted to if they wanted the meta to be not as strong as rogue then you know they wouldn't give us shit back like dark hole and regaki because that you know that would hurt it you know sure it doesn't hurt the meta but it sure hurts the rogue you know yeah we have defissure and 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 uh and macro and and soldier at at one you know why because that's the meta the meta is float you know so they hit those cards so you can't hurt that floatiness you can't hurt that floatiness you know. On the other hand, we have fucking skill drain at three because they don't give a shit. You know, it's, it's all about floating. Floating decks last longer. It makes Konami more money, and that's all that Konami cares about. So, you know, I just don't want to kind of you know deal with that. So, and I, I don't want to go down to locals. I'm doing that. Also, you know, the locals that was close to my house closed. So I literally got to drive like you know twenty twenty three miles to the other side of you know Las Vegas, almost Henderson, to go ahead and go to a local. So. Like, I'm like, no, thank you. I'm good. I don't, I don't want to do that. So, you know, without me really playing in real life and my friends out really not playing in real life, uh, you know, we just don't really have things to go ahead and record for live videos. You know, there's no point in going down to Walmart or something or a store and buying packs and opening them because we don't want anything in the set. So, you know, it's just like, wait, why are we, you know, doing this? So what I was proposing as an idea instead of live videos, but still kind of live videos is that on my desktop, I do not have a webcam. I do not have a webcam. In the majority of the time, I do use my, my desktop. So, like, I think almost all the videos that you see on my channel are from my desktop. Uh, all of Vibe and Wise on my desktop. All of Daily Duels on my desktop. The Undo Commentary on my desktop. You know, it, you know, all the games that you see, Binding of Isaac and, and uh, One Finger Death Punch, those are all on my desktop. What's on my laptop are Daniel and Friends and Pokemon Vega. Those are on my laptop. What I'm trying to get across here is that my desktop does not have a webcam, but my laptop does. So I was thinking to adding on for live videos when I don't, you know, have anything planned or anything, doing a uh, live video, doing a webcam duel. So I was thinking about maybe having you guys suggest some decks that I go ahead and use, or you guys go ahead and build me some decks, and, uh, you know. I just go ahead and duel on my laptop and then use my webcam so you guys can go ahead and see my face and I can duel, duel while using the webcam so you guys can go ahead and see me. Because it's not very often that you guys get to see me, but, uh, you know, that would be a way that you guys can see me. So, um, you know, go ahead and tell me what you guys think of that idea in the comment section below. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. So, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Go ahead and open up lots of presents and, you know, eat yourselves full and be merry. So, uh, but, you know, you know, still come and watch my channel, because these guys will still get videos. You know, some people take Christmas breaks on YouTube, but no, not me. You know, Christmas isn't that serious. You know, I'd rather save my, uh, my break for when I definitely need it, when school is, you know, tiring me out and stuff. But, you know, I'm, you know, I'm off of school right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue pumping out the videos. Christmas isn't that important, but, uh, yeah. So, I hope that you guys at least enjoyed this video. So, um, you know. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you for looking at my cool miscut Doom Shaman. And uh, go ahead and tell me what you guys think about a uh, whole web duel. All right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And I will see you guys. I'm not sure. Like I said, I am still need to figure it out. So if we take a little hiatus from live videos, then I hope you understand. So, yeah, thanks for watching.